So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a little break from the ultimate prize fighter and uh, introduce the vacant EBF English welterweight title to the fray. Would you please welcome our first boxer to the ring, Connor Millward. Millwood making his way to the ring, wearing the Irish colours tonight, based out of Nottingham and we've got a real East Midlands derby on our hands here for this English welterweight EBF title, Millwood representing Nottingham. And now introducing to the ring, Taylor Gregg! And Millwood's opponent from the neighbouring city of Derby, so it's a Nottingham Derby, Derby. We have on our hands. Taylor Gregg, wearing the blue, white and red. And to introduce both men formally, here is our MC Terry Gauci. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the vacant EBF English welterweight title. Scheduled for six two-minute rounds. Introducing first and boxing out of the red corner. We're in the green, white, and gold from Nottingham, Connor Millward. And his opponent boxing out of the blue corner. We're in the blue and white from Derby, Taylor Gregg. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Andy Butlin. So here we go. This welterweight title clash, six two-minute rounds. Millwall of Nottingham against Greg of Derby. What are we going to get here? Millwall in the green, white and gold shorts. The shamrocks all down the panelling. Against Greg from Derby. On the front foot, Millwood. Greg tries to snap out the jab to the body. The early aggression really coming from Millwood. Yes, he's looking to get on the on the front foot try and force this fight. Looks pretty cagey, Greg. Nice, nice jab. Well, Greg just launched the left hand, just missed. There's a little smile between the pair of them. A little more cat and mouse, they've got a little more time on their hands, so they're having a, a bit of a there look go, at right each other. But it's it's Millwood who's getting the better of it. But again, I'm impressed with the, the jab of Greg. Good snappy jab, who just popped the head back of Millwood there, Greg. And a pair of them really just seem to be enjoying it in there. They're, they're having a good look at each other in every sense, little smiles exchanged between the pair of them. And, both having the successes, it looks uh, should to be a very, very handy contest. This. Yeah, both of them. Decent stylists, aren't they?
Well, they've had a look at each other. It's not as frenetic, obviously, as the ultimate prize fighter style when there's three twos and you've got to get on top early. They can be a little bit more patient, but that was a, a tight round. Do you like the aggression of Millwood? Do you like the jab of Greg? It's, it's a tight affair, but you see the front footwork from Millwood, nice snappy jab from the Derby man, so it's, it's take yep. your pick, Lem. Yep, no, that was a, that was a good, good contested opening round. I think, I think Millwood possibly deserved, you know, just because his extra effort in trying to go forward and trying to get some combinations, but, you know, I was impressed with the, the jab of Greg, but he needs to throw something behind that. You know, you, that jab's got to set you up for something. It's no good just landing as a as a single punch. It's there for a reason. Well, on with round two of this scheduled six two-minute rounds, the welterweight division. Concentration on both men's faces. Good right hand from Millwood. Little shake of the head from Greg. Yeah, and that was Greg. He was just waiting too long, wasn't he? He just allowed Millwood just to get in position, just push him back and land with that right hand. So I'm, the question now is, can, can Greg up the pace a bit? You know, or is he just you know, a cagey sort of back foot fighter? Well, the right hand, when he does let it fly there, is well short. Millwood had gone. But it's jab jabbed to head and body, you see, is Greg's favourite kind of... Yeah. Way of trying to make an open a big right hand again didn't miss, but the left did, and Millwood just pushed against the ropes again. Oh, good body work nice. from Millwood. Nice little flurry, fast hands. Yeah, that's eye catching. That's eye catching stuff, isn't it? You know, that's going to take the, the judge's eye. Greg just walking forward, you know, but he's not getting the shots off, and that's that's what's failing him. You know, Millwood is going to walk forward. You know, he's, 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 there's nothing coming at him. Six one in again, the left hook, and gets away from his man well. Then Millwood shows good feet there at the end, good movement, and and again a good round and. Good at cat and mouse tactical kind of round yep. and a pair of them thinking about what they're doing. It's not hell for leather stuff, this is no. they're very well thought thought through and again it's the jab for Greg's that, that's what catches the eye and he's had great success with that. Yep. Millwood though showed fast hands and, and good combinations. And and is busier, is throwing more punches. And I think that you know that's what's what's telling. Um, Greg was walking forward but starting to get frustrated with himself. And I think you know the, the thing is he needs to let them shots go that that's what's important you'll loose he'll loosen up more if he lets the punches go two rounds in how are you seeing it two for Millwood and you I wouldn't disagree with you Glenn I'm far too close <laughs> is this in a way is this in a way but it's not enough I know. the plastic torn between us <laughs> <laughs> I never thought you'd let anything get in the way Round three of this scheduled six rounder, the EBF welterweight title on the line. And it's been excellent fair so far. Millwood, Greg, and Nottingham Derby contest. Great rivalry between the two cities, of course, just a few miles apart down the Brian Clough Way. Jab to the body again. Greg, nice good body work again, nice sinks those shots in, the right hook to the body from Millwood. That's the difference between the two of them, is Millwood is getting the punches off, you know, even if he's on the back foot, he's letting shots go, where, you know, Greg is wasting, he's wasting, you know, he's coming forward, but he's not, he's not letting shots go. Uses his his left hand very much as a measuring stick, really. Millwood doesn't like to to jab too much. Very much unlike Greg, that 
Hasn't really had much success with the right hand. Yes, nice, nice. I mean, Millwood goes to work to body, good variation, pitching, uses pitching, the headshots pitching, as well. Pitching. And, you know, it's that that catches the eye. You know, he's, he's letting the shots nice. go. Where Greg, hands Sit. tucked up. You know, he's, he's not everything's getting through, Turning, but he's shots. not letting punches go. Well, Greg is trying to go on the front foot, marching forward. Millwood looks fairly comfortable on the back foot. Yes, nice. And again. Yeah, he's smiling. He's enjoying himself in there, Push Millwood. In. Well, another excellent round. Yeah, good round. You know, I mean, Greg's trying to make it competitive. He's coming forward, but. Um, you know, Millward, whether he's on the back foot or on the front foot, you know, he, he gets that jab out and then, and then rallies off a few shots behind it. And I know Greg is, is getting his hands up and catching some of them on the gloves. But when he does that, Millward then switches to the body and wraps a few around the, the, the rib cage. Well, both men, very fit and good, stylish fighters as well. Mm. You can see there's plenty of skills on show. Well, it's certainly, it's, it's an entertaining fight. But, you know, Greg is making Millwood work and um, Millwood is, is, is then doing it. You know, he's, he's letting the shots go and he's obliging. But the thought going into these attacks as well, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. You know, it, it, it isn't just you know, wild swinging, it's good. Good boxing on show. Remember, this is the ultimate prize fighter. Tough boxing, tough one. With the final of ultimate prize fighter still to come. We can't wait for that as well. Ty Mitchell against Tommy Hawthorne. Derby against Bradford. And a real clash of styles. Before that though, we've got an excellent contest here. With Millwood in the green shorts trimmed with shamrocks and gold. Proudly wearing his Irish colors. Taylor Gregg, Derby just down the road in the red, white, and blue. Jab to the body from Millwood. Just a couple of feints. Oh, good right hand from Gregg. First bit of success, really, just got an opening there, and Millwood takes it and throws in the front foot again. Another good right hand from Greg. And that really sparks Millwood into life, and Greg fancies it now, and this one's really hotting up, then. Yep. He's looking to work inside. Greg needs to get them hands free. Millwood hanging on. He's worked, he's worked the harder of the two, and he's starting to just feel it a little bit now. Was this all part of the plan from Greg? I mean, well, you know, there's still rounds left, so is he gonna is he gonna up the the work rate? Switch the stance to southpaw, Greg, but doesn't let the shots go. There you go. Right hand to the body to end the round, and again, there were a pair of them enjoying themselves in there. There's lots of respect and. Again, it's, it's like they're really embracing this occasion and the, the opportunity to win this belt tonight. It's, it's a fascinating contest, really, a real thinking fight. Well, both both are being competitive, and you know, Greg is is probably bringing out the, the best of Millwood, you know, because he's he's making them fight. But would you give that round to Greg though? There's a couple of good right hands in that that maybe yeah, you could say you could probably yeah you could you could certainly give him a. He, he definitely came to life a bit in that round. I think he, he realizes that he has to. So he probably just just got a little little foothold into the fight. But well, can he build on it? It's very important he does. Well, at the halfway stage of this scheduled six rounder, it's well poised. Millwood with the early success and we believe still ahead.
not really uh, a thinking fight, isn't it? You know, they 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 are um, concentrating and trying to work their boxing. You're looking to work behind the jab in this round. Fifth round, and I think on my card I'll give three to Millwood, and the the final one to Greg. So can Greg? Can you try and get something out of these next two? Boxing more, Greg. He's using using the ring, just trying to be elusive. There's that jab, it's a, it's a good punch, but I like, the, I like to see fighters double up on that jab. The first one often, you know, you, you can, you, uh, your opponent can make you miss, but often it's harder to get out of the way of that second one. But in the previous round, he took a couple of chances, didn't he? He opened yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. You feel he's going to have to do that if he's going to get the nod in this, this fight. A bit more of that as Millwood just raised to a bit of a handy lead. Oh, they're talking in there as well. Combination. Combination. Yes, Just trying to let the hands go. Didn't quite have the distance on that occasion, but does use movement well there to get away from the final flurry from Greg. Well, not as much action in in that round. They were just. It looked like they were taking a bit more of a breather. Both of them trying to trying to box a little bit more. So there was there was there was not a lot, you know. So, I mean, has he has he has he just moved on from that that good fourth, Greg? You know, could you possibly have um, could you have give give that one to him, Dom? There wasn't an awful lot in there. No, was there? So it was very, it, it it was very, very hard to score that round. It's yeah, there was very little. Neither neither man, both of them took the foot off the gas a little bit, didn't they? And, and they were looking to be elusive, and it was more a case of um, not getting hit mm. as 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 hitting. So, yeah, there might have been a a share for for the boys in that one. So, I mean, I think for me, Millwood just has to get through this final round to come. How the winner, but yo, Griggs, Griggs had his part to play in this. Surely he'll need to let the hands go now in this final round. If he's going to get the bell, we feel. But who knows? Is the pair of them still chatting there inside the round in the ring? It seems fairly wild right hand from Millwood just lose his balance temporarily now. Oh. Yes, Connor, that's better. Oh, better, Connor, better. Focus, get them hands tied and focus. Yeah, it's body, one head of body, head of body. Right cut again from Millwood. I think this tiredness really playing a part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've right worked hard yes, Connor, better. in right this one. Still Obviously, there, there's there. a belt body. at stake. CBF, English, welterweight belt. I'm sure they'll be proud to, to get a, their hands on that. There's a lot of local pride at stake as well. Yeah, a couple of right hands landing from, from Millwood and applauded by his, his corner. And a nice little combination. It's that, it's those, it's that sort of work which is taking the eye for Millwood. It should be enough to get him the decision and the belt in this fight. The referee Andy Butlin just gets in between them. What are we going to see in these final knockings of this sixth and final round? Connor, 10 seconds. Connor, 10 to get. 10! Let's go! 10 to get! Let's go! I said, Connor, work! Good movement from Millwall just to avoid the last hurrah from Greg, but a great, well fought battle between these two. Great respect, as there should be. A really good 
kind of cerebral kind of a fight into the pair of them looking at each other and working each other out and Millwood with more variation, Greg with that great snappy jab and he did let the, the right hand go on a couple of occasions in the fourth round but from your point of view Glenn, you're going to give it the man from Nottingham. Millwood, yeah, I think, um, you know, just a better work rate, I think, you know, he had the confidence and, and you can see by his reaction, he, he's pretty assured that he's won it. Um, not his head comes over Greg, I think he knows it's not his night but he put up a, a, good, a good effort and that was a very good competitive fight. Well, Millwood just gets a little taken off in the corner. I suppose from Greg's point of view, he, he probably he might look back at it and think that, you know, obviously if you let the hands go a little bit earlier with that combined with the snappy jab. And it was cagey though, wasn't it? The opening and the, obviously Millwood just, I suppose the body shots were quite eye-catching. The flurries when he did let the hands go, the hand speed was there. Well, I'm, I've got 59-56 in Millwood's favour, so fairly handy lead at the end well there is a title on the line as Millwood makes his way now to the referee in the centre of the ring and the scorecards I believe are just being totted up and nearly ready of course remember we've got the final of ultimate prize fighter here at the Victoria Warehouse Manchester but we do have the official result now so Let's cross immediately to our MC, Mr. Terry Gauchi. So, ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, your winner by unanimous decision and new EBF English welterweight champion from Nottingham, Conor Mouse!